and the capacity of my tower of power is... Twenty four point three seven kilowatt hours. Now I have eight battery modules in my tower of power behind me. So that works out to just a little over three kilowatt hours per module. So I did not get that hundred dollar per kilowatt hour that I was hoping for. And I did buy these modules with my own money. Now I did start with the battery voltage at about uh, 3.5 volts per cell so you could technically maybe eke out a little bit more maybe i could get a total of 25 kilowatt hours if i really really pushed them so they turned out not to be as great of a buy as i was hoping for now this is still a lot more capacity than what i was getting out of my uh, chevy volt battery pack when i had the chevy volt battery pack i was getting 14 kilowatt hours usable out of it and this provided me with 24. So if you are thinking about buying these modules for yourself, if you kind of set your expectations to getting three kilowatt hours per module, uh, then I think you will at least get that. Something I was asked about on my previous video was how much all this paralleling wiring actually helps. Uh, how much does it actually do for us? Well, when I did my previous capacity tests, I didn't actually run the cells all the way down to 0% state of charge or 2.5 volts. I was stopping it early. So I ran another capacity test, stopping it at the same point so that I could get an exact number on how much this parallel wiring helped. Now in that situation where I stopped the capacity test at three volts per cell, uh, I was getting 22 kilowatt hours previously, and I got 23.2 kilowatt hours after this. So it added 1.2 kilowatt hours total of the whole pack to add that parallel wiring. Was that worth it? Because there's a real cost to buying the fuses, the fuse holders, the rivets, I mean, everything into it, there's a cost associated there. Yes, I think it was worth it to add these fuses and wires uh, but it's a close call. It really is compared to just buying another one kilowatt hour in some new battery and paralleling it up It's a close call at this point. I'm going to call this tower done Well, I am going to clean this up. Excuse me, but as far as the main wiring on this pack, it's done I'm not doing anything else with it. If I want additional capacity at this point I'm going to put my money and time into building new battery packs uh, I am going to see if the 24 kilowatt hours that I get from this can get me through. I'm going to do some uh, load testing. I have to finish wiring up these inverters and actually get them powering the house. Because right now they've only been powering my little loads in the garage. So I really want to get the house off grid. So I'm going to concentrate on those things for some future videos. And I'm going to leave this tower alone at this point. Well... With a little bit of cleanup, but <laughs> I'm not going to try to eke out any more kilowatt hours from this. I hope this information helps you decide if these modules are going to be the right fit for your application. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and check out the links in the description below if you'd like to help support the channel. Thank you.